word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this word. I ask that you breathe upon the immutability of your counsel, and I ask that your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Open your Bibles with me, if you can, to Job chapter 38, verse 11 to 13. Job 38, we are looking at command it, give it a command, give it an instruction, commanding it. Christ for Lord, may I decrease that you may increase, may you be the Lord of all. Job chapter 38, verse 11, it says, and said, hitherto shall thou come, but no further. And here shall thy proud waves be stayed. Verse 12 says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and caused the day spring to know his place, that it may take hold on the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, um, we just want to look at um, very quickly, Giving instructions to situations. Commanding the day is the scripture we've taken it from. But also, in that same way, you can command situations. You can command um, um, uh, what the things that are going on around you. And tonight, we are going to command the coronavirus disease all over the world. Now, Mark chapter 11, verse 23 and 24, it tells us, um, Jesus Christ speaking said, Verily, for verily, I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. And he says in verse 24, therefore I say unto you that what things soever ye desire when ye pray, Believe that you receive them and ye shall have them. Somebody say amen. What, so, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. So beloved brothers and sisters, I believe that we can speak to situations. We can speak to mountains. We can speak to the day. We can command coronavirus to to, 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 to hear us and to obey, there is a spirit behind it and it has no option but to hear the word of God and to hear us and to obey us. And so what are we going to do today? We are going to start by commanding like we saw in verse 11 and we'll say, coronavirus, thus far have you come and no further. Thus far have you come and no further. Thus far have you come and no further. We are going to speak to it. And I don't know what situation there is in your life. Maybe there's a barrenness situation. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Or you are trusting God for your brother or your sister or your loved ones for the fruit of the womb. You are trusting God for an admission into school. You are trusting God for um, financial breakthrough. Or maybe you are trusting God to be married and established. Now you are going to command and speak to that situation. You foul spirit of delay. Thus far have you come and no Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, we are going to establish a stop line. We are going to, how do I put it, um, issue an, a, a warrant of arrest and say to that situation, I am here under the mandate of what the scriptures have told me and I declare this is where you are stopping and I arrest your satanic activities from today in the name of Jesus. We saw that also in verse 11 of Job 38 where it says, thus far have you, uh, hitherto shall thou come, but no further and here shall thy proud waves be stayed.
obeyed. So we are commanding, giving it a rest. You stay here. Remain here. No further. This is how far you came. This is what you have done. This is the destruction you have done. This is the delay you have caused. This is the sorrow you have caused. This is the heartbreak you have caused. But no further. Stay. Arrest. Stop. In the name of Jesus. And we're going to be praying today. It's just a chart to prayer. We've been praying, if you've noticed, for the past, um, this week, it's been more and more and more of praying. And I believe that there is no wasted prayer. And like in one of the teachings, the senior pastor said, our prayers are stored up in an instance. And at the right time, when all the conditions are right, we'll definitely see the results and see the answers in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, we are going to cause it to know its place. That um, in, 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 in Job 38 where we read and in the verse 12, uh, have, has thou commanded the morning since thy days and caused the day spring to know his place? We're not going to talk about the commanding of the morning and all that now, but we can tell the day, just like you can tell the morning, the day, this is your place. This is where you occupy. This is what you are going to, this is what you are going to um, uh, produce and deliver to my life and to my destiny. We are going to say also to the coronavirus, know your place. Know your place. It is, it is an unruly, untimely, satanic agenda that has been uh, ushered into the world prematurely. Now, if you remember what the senior pastor preached uh, yesterday, um, the, 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 the end time and all the things to, es to escape it and all that to make the rapture and everything, there is a, a divine agenda, a divine timetable. This agenda of the coronavirus is coming prematurely. It is not yet for it. So we're going to tell it, know your place and stop disrupting the agenda of God and the agenda of our world and our generation and our planet Earth. We will command it to know its place. Uh, I was communicating with um, a, a medical doctor in, in, in the US, in New York precisely, and they, they, they have been in the forefront of helping people. And I'm just going to quote what, what some, something she, 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 she said on the text. She said, I, I, I really believe that God intervened in this issue early because at the peak of the coronavirus situation in New York, she said it was like a mass slaughter. It was a very horrifying experience. Now, that's a doctor who, you know, in the course of medical training, you, you are even every day in the whole of second year and third year, you are interacting and, you know, dissecting dead bodies. So it really doesn't amount to much. But a doctor say it was a horrifying experience. They get into the hospital and people are just dying in mass. It was a bad experience that the devil sent to usher people in a hurry into untimely that damnation in hellfire. Until the gospel of the, earth, of the Lord has gone around the earth, people have had opportunity to be born again. There is no, there, 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 that, that agenda is arrested in the name of Jesus. So we're going to tell it today. Know your place. It's not yet your time. You are not yet on the calendar, on the divine timetable in the name of Jesus Christ. Anytime you see the devil trying to stop you or trying to prevent things that are supposed to happen in your life, let him know that that is not the agenda. Take the scriptures, take the word of God and announce divine agenda to him, divine promises, divine instructions, and then you walk by that. Today, we are going to pray and we are going to establish that in the name of Jesus. And number fourth and the final point that we'll be praying tonight is where the scripture says in verse 13 of um, Job 38 says there that it might take hold of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it. Ha. Beloved brothers and sisters, on a daily basis, you can shake the devil out of your day. And today we are going to shake the wicked devils that have tormented your life, tormented your destiny, tormented you in one way or the other. The coronavirus that has caused, brought about, with that plague came hunger, with that plague came starvation, with that came with that plague came lack and, and want and need. The world over, we are going to say to it, we are shaking you out of the 
today, we are shaking you out of our earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil plan and every evil plot today, I declare it is being shaken out of your life, shaken out of your destiny. Every satanic deposit in your body is being shaken out today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every plan of the enemy to stall your productivity, to stall your fruitfulness, to stop your financial establishment. Today, we stay it, we stall it, we arrest it, we command it to know his place in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say a loud amen.